Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Happy Wednesday. We're coming at you with uh, our second to last rip party break. Another after hours breaks. This is a 2021 Topps Series 1 Baseball Jumbo Edition. Pick your team number seven. At the end of the break, here's what's special about this rip party break, the after hours rip party break that we were invited to. Thanks, Tops. We're going to re uh, yeah, we're going to randomize everybody's names. And at the end, you're going to get an exclusive rip party pack. So th I think we're being sent to these, sent these maybe at some point next week. So they're probably going to be shipped separately. They probably will be shipped, shipped separately from your break itself. But whoever wins that will get a, will get a pretty cool pack, I think. When you get one, and if you choose to open it, show us, because I want to see what it what it looks like. It sounds cool. Big thanks to all of these wonderful people here on Wednesday, the 10th of February, getting into Pick Your Team 7. Thanks, everybody here, for getting in and for getting in on all of this Series 1. Let's pop that baby there. There's the six-box jumbo case. few boxes at a time. We'll do all these exclusives at the end as well. Set those just off camera. You can see in the top cam up there. So how's, how's everyone been enjoying the Series 1 so far? I think judging from how quickly these rakes sold out, I think people were pretty are pretty uh, interested in it, pretty excited about it. I think we've been pulling some nice hits as well. I was surprised at how strong our... Uh, our viewer numbers were all throughout the day and the evening for these sort of longer breaks. Sometimes we lose people's attentions. But people seem to be pretty uh, pretty happy about hanging out and watching and whatnot. One jumbo box right here. Another, we're going to open up a few of half the case, then we'll blow through these cards, and then we'll do the next half of the case, and rock through the cards, and uh, if you um, are re-watching the video of this, remember the, and actually if you want to watch everything, you can fast forward through the pack opening parts, or you can skip to the end and watch the recap. Sometimes I've been known to forget to do the recap, so you can look for that in a separate video in case you don't see it at the end. Yeah, we're back, Ryan. We are back. Have to give the old computer a little rest. It did a little updating, too. And now it seems like smooth sailing for the computer thus far. Right. 
It's uh, it's snowing. And uh, so you're just inside with Jaspie's. Oh yeah, with a little whiskey. Yeah, there you go. For health reasons, of course. It's a whiskey and a Jaspie a day keeps the doctor away. Uh, you've missed nothing, Big Boys 007, Dave. You, you. I mean, unless you want to rewind, and you can, en you can enjoy me uh, opening up packs for the first three boxes. That's what you missed. Daniel, what's this rip party about? Well, I think it's something that they started last year. Series one rip party. Last year they invited a bunch of breakers, including ourselves, to uh, to Dallas. I think we broke it at the Cowboy Stadium. And so the goal was to rip a million cards among a bunch of breakers and over across a certain set of, uh, amount of time. And that happened, and it was cool. This year, obviously, the pandemic uh, kind of jammed that up. So they did a virtual rip party instead. And so what they did there was they, uh, they again, uh, invited a bunch of breakers. I think they invited four breakers to do, like, some sort of tournament, which maybe will be a part of next year, but... But they did that, and then there were a bunch of other breakers <clears throat> who were allowed to um, break this product a, a day early, yesterday. Top's rip party after hours is what we were able to do. And, uh, and then and give away exclusive rip party packs as well. So that, that's what it was. Rice, why has the filler 270 been delayed three or four hours? You can, we've been busy doing this series one, I'm afraid, and I think the, the timing got later and later. Yeah, and other things were sold out before it, and then, you know, this, this isn't exactly the speediest break in the world, so unfortunately that continued to get pushed back. So it's in the same time slot, kind of, but in the same position. But um, obviously a little bit later in the day, so that's how it goes sometimes. Well, there was no actual party, Daniel. Remember, there's a pandemic going on, so no one went. No one went anywhere. It was all virtual. Hi. So in this, uh, these jumbo breaks, all cards ship. So if you see me miss something, don't worry, because everything will ship. If you see me miss any key rookies, don't worry, they'll all ship. But I'm going to try to catch some of the bigger names, like Alec Baum for the Phillies, and Joey Bart for the Giants, so on and so forth. But fear not, everything will go. And here's our first numbered card here. It's Alex Gordon for the Royals. That'll be for James and Kansas City. For this break, are they 1 million baseball cards other or other sports too? Not sure what that sentence means. Are you asking if they do if they do million card rip parties for other products? No, that's it's a, it's loose. It's just a tops thing. If that's what your question was, it's just a tops thing, and uh, it's just uh, just baseball. These are just facsimile autographs right here, and there's Jose Altuve. For the oh, come on, all right. 
when these sleeves are upside down. Could have been disastrous. Alright, there's the Altuve relic. Going to Donald and the Astros. Snell, uh, a dark blue border right here. No, nothing was moved around, right? It's in the exact same position as it was last night when it first sold out. It hasn't moved. It's just, just everything just got delayed, including these rip party breaks. So we didn't move anything ahead of it. There's Trey Turner. It just, these just take a long time. Sorry. <laughs> And we, and we still need to do another filler to even unlock that mixer anyway, so I don't think there's really a rush either. There's a Trey Turner for Jay. And that patch is Ted Williams for the Red Sox. Those are pretty cool. It goes to Brian. Remember, folks, schedule's in the chat, so keep your eyes on that so you know when your break is coming up. I think we're booked up until around 5 o'clock Pacific, around there. Got an autograph and a card, 1091 out of 10 out of uh, 2021. Got Jose Quintana for the Cubs, Jake Odom. And there's Daniel Johnson. Bradley, what's up? Well, Series 1, you're basically looking for all these rookies. Like Christian Pache for the Braves. Joey Bart. Dylan Carlson. So this, this, these are their... Uh, this is the first set of the year, basically. So I think that's why it's there's so much hype around it. So much excitement. And we've 
got Kyle Lewis right here. Nice Derek Jeter insert. Kyle Lewis. For the Mariners, Chris Walker. Joe Adele is another another big name for the Angels as well. Jorge with the Halos. And this card right here, you can see, is flipped around, but there's no number on here, which means it's a variation. There it is. There's Mike Clevenger. With a, uh, it looks like a Tony Hawk skateboard there. Nice. Stephen Elliott with the Padres. bring the fans like a sauna in here. All right. And we got Jack Flaherty. Yeah, let's let's fill that up, Tyler. Now, li listen. Let's not be too eager because I think we still have a few hours before we even before we even get to the whatever next break. So, but yeah, we'll eventually get all that filled up, though. Another Christian Pache. And we've got the MLB Spring Training Patch for the Phillies. Alec Baum, nice, to $2.99. These are, these are manufactured patches, but they look pretty sharp. We've seen some of these autographed as well, which is also cool. Usually they'll put like a sticker auto right on, right on top of there, but it actually looks pretty cool. Nice. Phillies, that goes to Scott. So he gets that relic plus all the... Uh, Alec Bombs as well. I think people, uh, he had a really great season last year. I think people have a lot of high hopes for him this season as well. There he is. We'll try to pull as many of those as possible, but remember, all card chip. Oh, almost missed Seth Romero for the Nationals. That'll be for Jay Taylor and the Nats. Facsimile autograph again right there. Sometimes the first few boxes I did yesterday, you know, I was just in such a kind of a rhythm of just sliding through these cards. That autograph kind of throws you off a little bit.
places, but uh, a lot, I felt like, you know, there was, to me, a tough color figure, and, and Antonio, and Jake, those guys were, you know, my leaders, but the brunt of the work and the, the trade sale, the issue of people, because I was having to go and do it in the place of the field, uh, behind arguably the best player in the world. Uh, yeah, we saw one trout. Oh, I don't think it was a super short print, but I think we did see a short print. There's Matt Chapman for the A's. We saw his uh, sketch card last night, too. That goes to Andy Owens and the Athletics. There you go, 505 out of 2021. So I think the trout regular one is him uh, the bat over his shoulder the, there's a variation where there's one where he's completed a swing and then the super short print is him in the dugout with a with a mask yeah exactly Tyler he's wearing a mask in his super short print we have not seen that one yet I, I want to say that that is super, super short printed. All right, we got another numbered card here. That's Tony Kemp for the A's, Andy with the A's. 101 out of 199. And we've got another card out of 2021. We've got Nick Heath. 319 out of 2021 for the Royals. That'll be for James. No, that's true. That's why that Mike Trout card is actually pretty, is actually really cool because yeah, one day your kid's gonna go through your baseball cards and be like, hey, dad, what's up with this? Why is Mike Trout wearing some sort of uh, some sort of medical mask or something like that? Is what's going on here? It's like God. Ah, let me tell you about let me let me tell you about 2021. It was many decades ago, and there was a great pandemic. It'd be a good story. And what do we have back here? We, oh, we got a die cut back here. That's what it was. It felt a little different on the back of my hand. Kim, how long have we been ripping this product? 20, 24 hours, maybe? A long time. Almost 24 hours? What time is it right now? 3 o'clock Pacific? Um, but we, no, we, we actually started at, at uh, 6... We started at 6 p.m. Pacific yesterday, right? So then 6 a.m. is 12 hours. Another six hours. No, I think Derek and, and Ryan's got it, yeah. There's a postseason relic, Lucas Giolo. Yeah, I, th I think... I think uh, I think about twenty. I think twenty-one hours is about is about right. Three out of ninety-nine. Pirates. That goes to Sam Strayer and the Buckos. Kyle, did I start seeing baseball cards in my sleep? No, actually, I think I I think I slept pretty pretty well. Although still a little a little groggy because I think it. I think I was here with Sean till about two in the morning. 
And that kind of threw me off a little bit. Because then I slept later than I usually would. You know, then I woke up later than I usually would. <laughs> but this is a nice, nice, easy break to do. To kind of get warmed up for the rest of the day. And there's another Alec Baum relic. This one's not numbered. I think the other one was numbered. I don't remember. It was so long ago. <laughs> Yeah, the other one was numbered. It's 299. This one is not numbered. Can't tell the difference. Oh, maybe it's a little bit darker right there. Betts gold foil that's through the years Bryce Harper facsimile there's a Casey Mize rookie for the Tigers I think they, is that the first one we saw there's got to, there has to have been been more but all those rookie cards will add up And there's Chris Bubich for the Royals. Yeah, Richard, if you take a take a look at the schedule that's pinned in the chat. All right, I guess Ryan just helped you out there. Thanks, Ryan. I was trying I was trying to teach him to fish, Ryan Harold. <laughs> but you were nice enough to give Richard a fish. That's fine. Yeah, on, this, on the break schedule, it says if it's sold out, it'll get on the schedule and it'll break. I don't think it's on the schedule yet because I haven't gone through orders, but, but I will. Travis, uh, I take it you have a lot of more to do with Series 1. Well, take a look at the uh, schedule, Travis. <laughs> You'll know exactly how many we'll need to do. Davy Garcia, gold, foil through the years. All right, oh, sorry, Lord Escuriel. All right, here are the next bits here. I'm going to do all of these at once at the end. Let me just set those aside. Um, grab a box here, jumbo box. Jumbo box. And jumbo box. And here's all the exclusives right over here. All right. Did you say you're going to go play catch? Yeah. That's the life. My, my arm is, is it really? Yeah. Got to got to got to work on that arm. Yeah. Got to work on that arm. I'm gonna start. Uh, I'm gonna start bringing my glove to work. 
Yeah, we can play in the parking lot. See you, Kevin. All right, all right, all right. You want a Nolan, a Nolan Arenado, a Nolan Ryan, a Nolan Gorman? What, what team do you have? I don't know any more Nolans after that. Oh, you have the Rangers, Nolan Ryan. Are there Nolan Ryans in here? What Nolan Ryan are you looking for? There's a Sixto Sanchez. Chris Nolan, is Chris Nolan could be in here? If imagine if Chris Nolan was in here. If Chris Nolan was here, this would like all of a sudden all these cards would turn into a tesseract, like an interstellar, and we'd be caught inside um, all four dimensions where we can actually visualize time and gravity. That'd be wild. There's Victor Robles. 34 out of 50. Piece of his jersey going to Jay and the Nats. Oh, there's Nolan Ryan Auto in here. Okay. So we'll, we'll look for that. Christopher Nolan was in here, it'd be like it'd be like tenant, right? Like one card would be coming up this way and then it goes backwards this way. And you see cards going out of top loaders and going back into the packs. While we're moving forward in time. Pulling big hits. That would be a Christopher Nolan break right there. That'd be wild. Right, yeah, Tenant hurt my brain too. Oh, this is pretty cool. We, this one's actually numbered. 71 out of 299, a Derek Jeter die cut. I don't think I've seen any of these numbered yet. That'll be for the Yankees. Michael P. Be careful with this here, but there we go. Derek Jeter. And there's Dwight Gooden. Which what which movie genre director etc. Would you like for a break style? Definitely not Christopher Nolan, because then it would be like it'd be like Memento, and we'd start from 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 back to front and then front to back in the timeline, which would be kind of confusing. Um, I would want a uh, for breaking. I would want uh, I would want Michael Bay, because then like you would have like look at the top camera there'd be like <sighs> there'd be like all these beautiful helicopter shots around all the cards. Oh man, it'd be it'd be great. Michael Bay would certainly be the most exciting. Wes, can you imagine Wes Anderson breaks? It'd be like very whimsical music in the background, and, and Owen Wilson would be breaking here instead of me.
Right. Yeah. See, I want Michael Bay. Yeah. Derek Riley's right. There'd be big. There'd be big explosions. You know. Nice Alec Baum gold foil. Phillies Scott. Not that one. Yeah, Trevor, we got plenty on jazbeescasebreaks.com. Actually, yeah, if, if Pixar, Pixar animation would be kind of fun too. And we've got Josh Reddick, 46 out of 299. <laughs> Schedule's in the chat, Trevor. You'll, you'll know exactly when, when things are happening. Yeah, Owen Wilson would be in there. Wow. Wow. John Cruck for the Phillies. Old Crucky, Cruckster. It's another one for the Phillies, Scott. Nice. These are OR scrubs. Or oh, are they? There you go. Scott love, loves the Cruckster. Old Crucky. That was a fun team, right? The 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 Cruck World Series team. Who else was on that? Who else was on that team? There were... There's Chris Bubich again to twenty twenty one for the Royals. Royals, James with the Royals. Right, that was the Kurt Schilling, Dykstra, that's right, and Dalton too. There's Alec Baum. And to 499, we got Michael Michael Franco, former Philly, now on the Royals. That goes to James. Old old roommate of mine was a. Uh, is from he's back in Philadelphia now. He's from Philadelphia. Loves his Phillies. And we got another Royal Cool Whit Merrifield. Cool Whit. It's for James in Kansas City. Yeah, Scott saying definitely his favorite team, the old 93 Phillies.
Whenever we uh, get in arguments, all I would have to do is mention a certain name on that 1993 Phillies team, and he'd just get so angry. He'd be like, F you, man. Can't bring that up. Here's a variation. It's it's Hank Aaron. Nice. I like the old school players on the uh, new school Series 1 card. There you go. Bravos. That's going to go to Gary. Look at, look, at all, look at all these crazy stats. R.I.P. Hank Aaron. He had, a, he had a lifetime 305 average. That's crazy. Ended up with 755 home runs, 2,297 RBIs. He even stole a couple hundred bases too, right? 3,771 hits. Crazy. But yeah, I'm looking at the 93 Phillies right now. Darren Dalton at catcher, John Cruck at first, Mickey Morandini at second base, Kevin Stocker was playing short, Dave Holland, remember Dave Holland? Dave Hollins was at third. And then in the outfield was Milt Thompson, Lenny Dykstra, Jim Eisenreich. I kind of hated Jim Eisenreich because I feel like I feel like no matter what team, I think he would bounce around a couple different teams. No matter what team he was on, I guess mostly the Phillies. He, and he was with the Dodgers for the end of his career, but he would always just crush the Dodgers. I think the Dodgers would eventually got him in the last year of his career because we should have got him a lot earlier, but he just killed Dodgers pitching for some reason. Something I remember from childhood, from youth. What's the best nickname for a particular year's team? Like the Big Red Machine, so on and so on. Big Red Machine's pretty good. I don't know. No one really seems to... Uh, no one really seems to nickname teams anymore. Right? Doesn't it seem like that? When are we uh, breaking all the optic? Whenever it sells out. It's got to sell out first. Willie Calhoun. And then, yeah, there's the schedule as well. Eventually, when, some, when it sells out, it'll end up on the schedule. Please consult that. Rangers. Ryan Harold. Yeah, I think, I don't know if there's a, a player that really, that, that really has the Dodgers' number. I'm sure there has to be someone that, I think when it happens, like I'll, I'll know it. There's got to be somebody. Just have to get my head into baseball mode. Was that the, Derek Grawley saying, Bless You Boys was a nickname for the 84 Tigers. Or, but yeah, I don't, I feel like they don't, they don't really nickname teams anymore. Yeah, I don't remember anyone more recently though, Mike. More recent player in the last 10 years. Where I'm just like, every time I play these guys, this guy always, this guy always gets us. And we got Major League Material, Alex Bregman. Thank you. 
I don't know. I think Big Red Machine kind of stands up there. That, that, that's always a. That's what I always thought was a cool. Uh, was a cool nickname. Out of 299, Rafael Devers for the Red Sox. Brian Wilk with Boston. This pitch was so hilarious. Was there was a card with Lyndon Johnson on it? That'd be wild. All right, folks, last jumbo box. Should be one autograph in here, another relic or two. And then we'll go through those exclusive packs, which could have uh, autographs in there as well, potentially. Not as common, but it is, uh, it is possible. Last box. And we've got, this is odd, look at this. It was stamped with the number, but the foil didn't transfer. That's 36 out of 76. Marcus Simeon, Oakland A's, Andy Owens. I've ever seen that before. Chris Bryant relic. Anyone know why Bobochet hasn't had any odd and top products recently? That could be a combination number of things. I think it could be a combination of Bobochet not wanting to. It could be a combination of maybe tops themselves not wanting to uh, oversaturate Bobochet autographs and products.
Those are probably the two main reasons. We've got complete success. Cy Berger creates the first complete set. History of tops. Wow. So uh, we'll give this to, we'll give all of these non-team related cards to the uh, second name down on the randomizer. Name on top gets the exclusive rip party pack. Second name down will get all of those non uh, non baseball team cards. No, I, I don't think so. I, I, I'm not sure if, if Panini's even able to do exclusive deals with baseball players. Maybe they can. I don't know. But I think uh, I think Topps controls, you know, the, the baseball market. So I, th I don't think they're able to do exclusives like that with baseball. Whereas Topps can't. Might be part of the, the licensing agreement. There's Rafael Devers for the Red Sox, Ryan Wilk. A number of years ago, we were at the National, and we were doing a, uh, we were, I think we were ripping a uh, case of Stadium Club with, with someone over at Topps, um, who had actually had a hand in designing Stadium Club, and we were on stage uh, ripping packs with her. We were talking about we're talking about hey a lot of the questions I get from my crew is why is why is this product have why does this team have more hits than that team why why doesn't that team have that hot player you know in there and blah 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 and a lot of it's just just production related you know I've seen people like like what if like Ian Anderson goes off and the very next product a week later. You know, people are giving Tops a hard time. They're like, hey, why isn't Ian Anderson in this product? He's like the hottest player in baseball right now. You know, and they'll be like, well, he just got hot like a month ago. How long? I mean, these products take months to <laughs> years, maybe the course of an entire year. It takes a long time to get all this, all this set up. You know, there's a budget for each product. You know, there's, I think after you're a rookie or something like that, like, the amount that players charge for autographs, everyone's contracts different, so you have different budgets. Sometimes you call up a team and say, "Hey," or call up a player's representation and say, "Hey, we we need you to sign a thousand autographs for this product." And the player might say, "No." <laughs> or maybe they'll do it at a certain price, and then th at that point. You know, the company tops might say, eh, no. <laughs> There's your Nolan Ryan. That's what uh, Ryan Harold was looking for. Or did he specify auto? I think he might have specified auto. All right, he did specify auto. All right, there you go, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks very much. Here are your exclusives. Here's your first bookmark. It's going to be Mike Trout for the Angels. That will be for Jorge. We got the next one is next tall boy card, Buster Posey. That's gonna be for Big Boys 007 and the Giants, along with uh, all those Joey Bart rookie cards. There's Cody Bellinger for my Dodger, Stacy, with the boys in blue. The next one is Vlad Guerrero Jr. for the Blue Jays. Derek Riley. And you got... Watch that corner. Careful. It's like operation. There's Justin Verlander. 
for Houston. That's going to go to Donald and the Strohs. And the last one here is Matt Chapman. The Chapman. Chapman. A little ding on the corner up top there. And that's why they should make the box loader packaging the size of the... size of the card itself to avoid that all right and next are the uh, silver packs that's what they call them the silver on the back How long have I been up? Not, not too, not, not too long. I think I got up a few hours ago. What time is it? Three thirty? Yeah, a few hours ago. Silver pla plaque pack exclusives. There's Astros, Nolan Ryan. A little bit of blue right there. Tristan McKenzie. These are your rookies, Nolan Arenado. Rockies edition. Some of these can be numbered as well. I think they're usually flipped around when they're numbered. Like this, like Bobby Dalbeck. Nice. Purple. Rookie Bobby Dalbeck. I think he's supposed to be pretty good, Brian, and the uh, Red Sox. That is kind of hard to see the numbers. 50 out of 75. You can see on the top left right there. We got Jack Flaherty. Orange, that's to 25, right? Yeah, 7 out of 25. Jack Flaherty for the Cardinals. That's going to go to EA in St. Louis. It's Bobby Dalbeck again. Archives Baseball, uh, that... That means someone got a refund. Someone was too scared to be in the break, Jack. That's what that means. Some rookies there. More rookies. And there you have it. Oh, and then can't forget Leody Tavares. Six out of 99 for the Rangers. That's going to go to Ryan H. and Texas. All right. And there you have it, boys and girls. We're going to give that away. And let's uh, give away a pack, too. All right, I think it's just... Yeah, just name on top gets a pack. So let's... Uh, Spiro down to Jay and the Nats, everybody in between. Name on top gets the exclusive pack after seven times. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seventh and final time. After seven, there's seven down there. Matt McLaughlin, you'll get that uh, History of Tops card along with the other History of Tops cards that doesn't have a team attached to it. And EA with the exclusive Rip Party pack. There you go. Thanks, everybody. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. That was Jumbo Pick Your Team number seven. Schedule in the chat will tell you what's coming up 
later on. Check out the schedule in the chat, pinned to the chat. There's a quick little recap right here. It's a short print with Merrifield autograph. A lot of cool stuff in here, ladies and gentlemen. John Kruk auto, Alec Baum gold foil. These cool patches. The die cut was actually numbered to 299. Usually they're, usually they're not numbered. There's the Victor Robles, Bubich, a couple relics. These are numbered to 2021. Seth Romero, Flaherty. That was a nice variation right there. Clevenger, Daniel Johnson, Otto. The uh, Turner was to 70. There's the Altuve. And then Alex Gordon was the first numbered card we saw. Plus all the, uh, uh, the whole pack of bunch of rookie cards that are going to be sent out to you, all card ship. Um, so that's a good thing as well. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Thanks for watching. Thanks for breaking with us. I'll see you next time for the next one. Bye-bye.